happened? We heard a rumor about this garage. We thought it'd be an easy score, but we were wrong. Dumbasses. Hey. Hey, at least we got far enough down to start up the old military generator and juice up some UV lights. So, what happened then? Further down, the underground parking is fucking swarming with infected. <sighs> Barely made it out of there alive. And then, part of a wall collapsed on Jonas on our way to the surface. Well, you won't mind if I give it a try, do you? Knock yourself out. But it's probably not worth it. Unless you want to end up <laughs> like me. Or worse. Yeah. I gotta make good on a promise. Here. If you manage not to die, maybe you'll find use for these. We sure ain't going back. Not that way, at least. Well, thanks. Can you hear those noises downstairs? All right, hopefully. Yeah. Peacock singing the hallelujah. Hopefully ain't nothing too bad, bro. Come on, let's go ahead and get it. We gotta do fine GRE containers. Can we even get up here? No, we cannot. So we gotta go the other way, I guess. Go up or something? Not really. No, no one. Yeah, that's my guess that we gotta go up. Or probably through this one. Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so this is the way to go. <coughs> Bless me, guys. God damn it. All right, bro, we got to see where to go, man, because I really don't know. What to do or where to go? Oh, well, never mind. Bro, oh, my God. Jesus. Oh my God, bro. I am stuck. Okay, okay, okay. We know that he has eyes on you. If we could somehow distract him. Damn it. Well, y'all, sit your ass down. Looks like we in for a treat. Ran 
Damn, bro. Alright, bro. We got them all out the way. Yeah, we're gonna search all of y'all, bro. We need all our all our goods. We need everything so we can make some upgrades, bro. Some upgrades come in handy. That's all y'all. What are y'all gonna do? Y'all like stuck behind a cage. I can do all the searching I want now. Where's the inhibitors? Cause I wanna just get these inhibitor containers, bro, and just get up out of here. I'm pick that up too. <laughs> bro, we good. We don't need no UV streams right now. So <laughs> is back. I do want to search these lockers. In this case, they got something that I need. Um, take the rags. All right, we're good. We're good. Do I really want to search these lockers? I don't, but I'm just search the bags <clears throat> because these bags do be having some good stuff inside of them. Why is it so hard to kill these people, bro? Right, come on, let's let's use some of these UV shrooms. And one more. I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Okay. okay. So we gotta make it over there. Hopefully it's not too difficult. You know what? Halt. Go on our inventory, equip some of these things that we were supposed to have. What is this DIY grenade? Yeah! <laughs> 
God damn, bro. Just run. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Where's the inhibitor, bro? Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Okay, there it is. It's on here. <sighs> Alright, bro. We got what we need. Damn. Okay, we got it. Are there any more? Oh, ooh. Thank you for all of this. We looted up, bro. Okay, there we go. Is this what he needed? I struck gold, a bottle of risen glory cognac, and some cigars. Hmm, Cuban, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here. Okay, there we go. Bro, we're making some great progress. Oh, I don't want to get that. Pick that up. Pick all that up. Well, we are making some great progress. Fuck it, bro. Just run through them. How do I get out of here? Okay, at least we're getting up out of here, bro. 
Drop down. Drop down. Come on. We know what we gotta do. Let's climb up the ladder. Jump across and we we here. the stash sure did thanks for the lock picks but what are you still doing here is this him sure is oh my god good. bro saved us a lot of trouble very good so where did you find out about this a little bird was it to you was it a little bird met a broken leg how would you know because i broke it why did you attack him Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. I'm gonna whoop y'all ass, bro. Come on. Go on, Trump. Again. God damn. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and takes the goods. Oh, not gonna kill me. I don't even know why y'all think y'all finna whip my ass, bro. Come on. I don't know why y'all think we finna fight. <laughs> I ain't never been jumped in my life, hey. I ain't never ran from a nigga, but tonight, I'm finna run from one. You feel me? You are not finna catch me lacking. Like, I'm some stupid ass person. Like, who do y'all think I am to sit here and fight five on one? That's a ass beating. You just asking to get your ass whooped, bro. Like, I don't care how tough you are in real life, man, or how courageous you may think you are. You not, you not fighting somebody five on one like you not your chances of winning are slim to none i'm just being realistic you will never catch me fighting no five on one two on one i can do that you feel me that's not too hard five nigga five on one you just actually get your ass obliterated bro Come on, bro. Let's go. Go ahead and go up here with the um, QB. I don't even know why they thought we were gonna fight. Probably the dumbest thing they could ever think. How's the leg? Uh, no better, but it'll heal eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Yeah, you are very stupid. Trusting a group of thugs They're like very that. stupid, bro. That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Yes, you was. Just? Greedy. The same thing, greedy. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. Exactly. What happened to them anyway? Well, they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. 
I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. I just Don't know he lying, bro. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. If they give us the option to tell Dodge, bro, because you're not finna finesse my people up out of their stuff, bro. You know how stupid you look doing it? Then the fact that you thought you was gonna get away with it makes it even worse. That makes it ten times worse because you was gonna do it and not think nothing of it. That's what makes it even worse than what it what it was, bro. So it's not more so of, you know, you taking it. It's just the principle of you doing it and not even like trying to ask for anything at first or none of that, bro. Let's go ahead and get over here to the bazaar, bro. these filters for one mm, okay not setting my world on fire but I can move those for a nice profit how about these a bottle of cognac and a box of cigars now that's what I'm talking about you see I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base you see that Urban can I sniff out the good shit or what <laughs> kick ass uh, speaking of asses what was Hubie's deal is he trying to duck out on me? I'm gonna tell him he tried to cheat him. We're not even gonna try to try to no he fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. He broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Good and tag. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. So he knew about this all along? Stream? Well... He won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So, once a cheat, always a cheat. Duralex, Sedlex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people Half-Assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? You won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. 
I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Eden. Dodger really tried to set me up. You sneaky bitch. Hmm. I like you for that. How y'all been doing, bro? Y'all doing good, man. Y'all feeling good, living good, man. Okay, that's all that matters. Let me fix this camera real quick for you. Mm. I remember, let's get back into this, bro. Um, We... Talking to Sophie. That's what it is. So let's go ahead down there and just hit up Sophie and see what she's hitting on, bro. I'm gonna have to get going. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you Hey. I found these filth. Mm. How about the no, you'll see it. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Well, what can I say? Aiden. All right, yeah, but so let's go ahead and get out here with um Sophie, bro. Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? One. Go to one of the craftmasters. Two. Alberto or Vincenzo. Three. Both know the location Four. of the purest crystals. Five. I need a few. For one. A certain transaction. A certain transaction. Hmm. Two. Anything I need to know about? Three. Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell. Four. Carl says. Do you believe Five. that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are. One. So far, at least. Bring me the location Two. of the crystals first. And we'll see where Three. we go from there. Four. Five. One. Those crystals. Two. What's the deal with them? They were Three. created by the chemical bombings of a city. Four. Five. A byproduct of some sort. Surround People believe off. the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Surround on. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Alright, how y'all doing, man, bro? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Goddamn. How y'all doing, man? Y'all doing good? Y'all living good, bro? Y'all having fun? Don't look at me like that. I'm 
look at me like that. I'm just I'm enjoying y'all sales, bro. Getting into this game, <clears throat> we're gonna start it. We got, we got another game coming up soon, too, bro. So, how do I talk to him? A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So, where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. You don't know which is it. This is a family lunch. Sophie sent me. It was taking forever for me to talk to him, bro. I don't know what was going on. Oh, for Fox. They've already sent one of their f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, hundred and twenty. Uh, Get it out, brother. <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Right, thanks. Look no further, young. Hey, thank you. All right, y'all, let's get on our merry way, man. Go ahead. Finish up these little conversations, man, then hit them up about these crystals, I guess. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Damn, you talk, brother? Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either kid I'll kill him I'll just kill him why blame yourself we all make our own beds listen you said it yourself you're new here so you don't know much I'm responsible for security here and he's my brother I promised I'd look after him you promised you promised who never mind I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. Oh, what you mean by that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. Auto shutdown initiated. While well, exploring the city, you'll come across characters marked with the blankety black icon. These are nighttime stories. Missions that are best completed at night. After you interact with the character, hold down the fast forward so the night so the mission can begin right away. Clear out before he off. All right, come on, let's go ahead and start this mission with um Sophie, brother, bro, Barney. Um, we got to get to know about him anyway, so let's go ahead and see what it's hitting on, bro. Then we're out here at the nighttime, bro. That one makes it even better. What they got up in here for me? Uh, ain't nothing up here, so let's go ahead and just keep going. Got two videos dropping for y'all, dropping for y'all today, man. So be on the lookout for that. This is gonna be the second upload for y'all today, man. How's it going, kiddo? It seems I met Carl before you and Sophie. 
doing a thing for her now. A thing. I'm helping save her brother's ass. Ooh. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas' death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. So Barney one of them quote unquote crazy ones, you feel me? But appreciate you for the information, Hakan, man. We needed that because we ain't trying to have no weird encounters, you know. With whoever. Oh, I need this right here. Appreciate y'all for all these goodies, man. Oh, so it's gonna be on down here, so. That was a good jump, good. Please, no, not start the mission. Start the mission. Because I was not finna get into all that, bro. You not finna start no mission on me, bro. Oh, help. Please. We need help. What happened? <sighs> Some infected attacked us. Tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. If we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. I'll do what I can, bro. I'm gonna rush. But hey man, I don't I don't know what you want me to do. Bro, come on. Y'all just throwing me in these bad situations, bro. Come on. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Come on, bro. Y'all just throwing me in this stuff. Come on, dog. Can I ever just have a peaceful mission? Give me a loot. Give me a loot. Give me a loot. Give me a loot. I thought he was dead, bro. He scared the hell out of me. Bro. Are there any more zombies, bro? Alive. My fault, y'all. I had to go in here, you know, collect a little loot. This. Barney? Who is this? Barney? Barney? Do you hear me? Report in, Pamuk. Sophie, Tayden, I found a radio and a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. Kojak. Kojak. <laughs> Barney can't be far. Investigate. You can investigate. Some information can be hidden in plain sight to discover. You need the investigation mechanic to investigate an area. Click R3 to use your survivor sense and look around. To follow the leads, they create a path that will take you to your goal. If need to use survivor sense. All right, bro. Come on. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Big 
big ass on. Come on, get your big ass on. All right. We're gonna search you, then we're gonna go up in this room, bro, and get see what's with Barney, man. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You want <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Huh, now we gotta negotiate, bro. Right, I'm talk to him. Now we gotta negotiate. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Um Your sister is worried about you. We gotta we gotta Keep Sophie. We gotta we gotta make the smart decisions, bro. You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck shit! Uh, great. Bro, where did they even come from? Come on, bros. Is this all of them? Joy is down. Your ass back, bro. Come on. Bro, what is wrong with y'all, man? Come on. Bro, I swear the bizarre people are just so weird, man. Barney! They're on a whole nother level. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn, but she didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. Who is... He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those back to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! Hey, we're gonna find a little kid. First off, bro, let me turn his brightness up a little bit. Video. Alright, there we go. We're good. And we got a couple skill points, bro. So let's go ahead and air kick, power attack. Perfect dodge. We're gonna get this power attack going, man. All right, back to what we're doing. Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hopefully, it'll lead us to him. Okay, so we're going in here. Hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Bro, who 
is this singing? Happy birthday, bro. I took out all those fuckers. These footsteps ain't okay. The footsteps not explaining where to go because they just brought me back to the middle. So what I'm thinking is maybe upstairs. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney. <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. Uh, killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Nah, I don't let dude down his birthday, bro. You see... Uh, over there, my radio. Uh, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello, mom. Damn, bro. You there, mom? Nathan, is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Oh. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Damn, bro, that's crazy. Barney, you there? You find Bertie? He was in bad shape, Barney. I'm sorry. Fuck. Fuck fighters. Love that run, Hayden. Told him to stay back. Let's get the fuck out. Nothing left for us here. My biomarker. It's starting to redline, Aiden. I won't make it to the bazaar. I gotta wait somewhere. Right outside the dark zone, there's a windmill. I'll fix it and let you know when it's safe. You can hide there until dawn. Okay, got it. Just hurry. Bro, what is going on up with y'all, man? Y'all just... You said dude up. Talk. Gotta climb up there. Why the hell you just sitting here, bro? You could have been climbed your ass up here. <sighs> bro, y'all people are useless. Hey, bro, you could have been climbed up there and did what you had to do, man. Like, it's not that hard. Because apparently, all of y'all got the same abilities. Well, I take that back because some of y'all are useless than the other ones. Let's go ahead and do what we got to do, man. So you telling me that's all y'all need to do is just change the bull? At least we get to save, you know, our boy Barney and, you know, trying to make use for what happened to, you know, Birdie. Right, 
activating the windmill creates a safe zone around it, which provides a resting place protected you by UV light. An active windmill enables nearby abandoned structures to become faction structures. These buildings will contain merchants, as well as new quest challenges and additional source of UV at night. Aiden? Can I jump down from here? You there? Barney's here already. Just arrived. He fucking... That dude's... Oh my God. Supposed to... Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. So that's why he sent me to check on his friend. So he could sneak away. It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar and I'll explain everything. What can you explain about your brother? There's nothing to really explain about your brother leaving me. Bro, we just gotta jump. All right, bet. Come on, let's make our way back over to the bazaar, man. Cause these bazaar people are f fucking weird. But yeah, bro, like I'm starting to see why the PK might be having problems with the bazaar. Hopefully they get their shit together, bro, cause if we do gotta make a decision to either fool with the PK more than we fool with the bazaar people, bro, I I'm gonna pick the PK. I'm just being honest, bro. better for us now right depends doesn't it veronica the guy was a prick the pk were a pain in the ass with him in charge conclusion's pretty straightforward lucas is gone things are better for us amen wow it'd be better if you just shut up barney where's sophie you again what are you doing spying on me well, you got something to hide you were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosey here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Dude, so weird, bro. Come on. Changed. Yeah. Crystals, huh? Afraid of you? Give me a break. You got to die. We've got our own interest to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me, and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Bro, like, these, like I said, these people weird as hell. Some weird ass people in the bazaar, bro. Some of them are cool, but like the other said, bro, they just weird, bro. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Coward. Who is Joe? I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. That's for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. At least Sophie's smarter than her brother. Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Oh. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? 
You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? I mean, just ask. What do you want to know? There's a lot I want to know. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In mm. return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. That's a lie. He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. He gonna hurt y'all, bro. The way it's looking, he gonna hurt y'all way more. With Carl, what was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? bunch of lazy ass people. The people outside the walls could only dream of all these people will be dead by the end of the month why because in short order our water supplies will run dry two weeks ago a local thug named joe and his pal jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang not long ago they lived in the bazaar but carl threw them out for pulling scams and now they're taking their revenge they mine the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. Mm. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes, from a discreet distance. Well, I appreciate that a lot, Sophie, because with no context or anything going on, bro, then we will be out here looking crazy. But, hey, bro, I'm going to wrap this video up, man. I'm going to record the second video for today. Um, It's going to be another Dying Light video, so, you know, just separating and breaking it up into these missions. But I will holler at y'all at the next one, man. Peace.